Okay, David, uh, here she is, uh, the 44th uh, Pennsylvania 18th scale Crown Vic. And I uh, still didn't trim that decal off. Oh, well, I gotta trim that decal off. Uh, do, still need to do some trimming on the decals and get those taken care of. They're not dry yet, so I'll kind of be careful moving this around. Uh, still to do some trimming on those to get that taken care of. And a little bit of touch up work still. I uh, went in and painted the back, like the picture that you sent me. Uh, reflective bumper stripe on this one as well. Um, all four doors do open. Again, got to be careful with this right now because the decals aren't dry. And I haven't coated them yet, but I want to go ahead and do the video. Uh, see, I'm pop these four doors open here. There we go. Uh, interior setup like you wanted to. Or one has got the prisoner cage. Um, little uh, laptop in there. Uh, there's a light as well on it. If we can see that in there. Um, I did a little bit of touch-up work on the radio, dash, and stuff. A little bit of paint just to kind of highlight it a little bit instead of just all black plastic like it comes. Uh, laptop, like I said, in there with a light. Um, the other side here is the collapsible stock AR-15 mounted to the floor. And again, you can see the back side of the laptop and whatever inside. Um, switch set up on the bottom. Turn this over here real carefully. Uh, right here, uh, this is your emergency lighting. Hey, how about this? This is cool. There we go. That switch right here is for your emergency lighting. This one down here is your steady head and tail lights. The one tucked away here under the tailpipe, if we can see it right there, is for your uh, traffic advisor patterns. And then up here in the top of this tailpipe, in the top uh, pass driver side, passenger side, is the siren button. So we'll go ahead and turn on the steady head and tail lights here. Maybe if I can reach under this edge, try not to touch any of the decals. And the your headlights are on. Got those burning, uh, steady low beams. And steady tail lights. There we go. And then that switch also operates the laptop light, or the interior light, what we call it light, not really a laptop light, anyway. I've got to point down a little bit at some of the radio equipment inside, kind of highlighting it some. Uh, you can move this a little bit if you want. Um, just be real gentle. Don't go crazy with it, but you can aim it a little bit better. Um, it's fastened in there pretty well, so you can kind of adjust it maybe more towards the laptop or maybe with some needle nose pliers, bend it down towards the middle console or something a little bit different. Pose it however you want. Uh, battery power on this one, uh, obviously in the trunk. Let's turn these steadies off. Um, the I split some of them up as far as what runs what. They've got a 9 volt battery and also one of the 23A batteries in here, one of the little 12 volt ones. Uh, they're accessible at Walmart. Um, Walgreens and stuff have those batteries as well. They're not too awfully expensive, no more expensive than a, a good 9 volt. So, anyway, um, 23A on that, like the little 12 volt battery. Work great, not much, don't take up a lot of room either. So, we've already got the, uh, had the steadies on. Go ahead and kick the emergency lights on here. Light this thing up. Let's close these doors back. And you're going to notice everything you wanted. Uh, steady spotlight. Headlight strobes. I'll knock some of this out a little bit so you can see it maybe. Headlight strobes. Uh, alternating red and blue on the push bar. Uh, red and blue clear uh, low profile with white takedowns there. In the center. You see those. Steady takedowns. I guess all takedowns are actually steady, but anyway. Um, reverse light strobes, tail light strobes. You have red and blues in the rear deck. And again, the flash pattern is a little bit more noticeable once you get this. I need to clean this up quite a bit too. Uh, flash patterns are uh, a little bit more noticeable when you get it, when you get a hold of it there. Uh, you'll be able to tell that. Uh, like I said, this camera doesn't pick them up very well. Uh, license plate that you wanted, also the roof number, rooftop. Unit number up there, 33-2, as you requested. And in the back window, we were going to do just a random traffic advisor. Well, I stepped up the game a little bit here and put a real traffic advisor in there for you. Uh, it's got 11 patterns to it. It's the one that's I mean, commonly available on the Internet. Uh, this one operates on a switch by itself. Let me turn this emergency lighting off. 
um, different patterns. Um, again, the switch uh, to change the pattern just tucked away up under the tailpipe right here, underneath the car, right here where I'm reaching right there. And you press it once, and it will change the pattern each press. And you know, like it, again, it's the one that's it, every all the builders use these that use the traffic advisor board. Uh, different types of patterns to it. Go through those each press. Again, this one operates separately from the others. Uh, it's, um, to turn this one off, I'll send you a sheet with all the instructions. Like you don't have to hunt them down like I did. But anyway, uh, if you hold it and press it, it'll flash like that. It turns everything off. To turn it back on, you just hit it once. And when it comes on, it's going to start you to go right back to the pattern that you left it on. So, you know, if you find the pattern that you like, you can leave it like that, and that's cool. Um, other settings on it, uh, it'll go through a random three flashes, I think, the random pattern. Yeah, there we go. So it'll change automatically every couple, three seconds. Go through all of them. Uh, you can hit that again with three flashes. It takes it back out of that mode. And then again, you're right back into the mode where you can check your, oh, I just turned it off, uh, where you can change your patterns. I think the four flashes is the dimmer on it. Yeah, we're going to dims it down a little bit. I don't know if this camera's really picking that up or not. Uh, again, to take it back out of that mode, four flashes. There we go. And it's right back to bright again. Uh, the fifth one, I can't remember what the fifth one does. Let's find out. I never forgot. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think it does something. Uh, the directions will tell you what it does. Anyway, if also, if you once you're in a mode like this in the... Uh, um, Let's get out of this one here. In the uh, one of the steady modes here, you can also tap this twice, and it'll change the speed. You got to do it pretty quick. And it's slowing down a little bit. There you go. That's that's the high speed that it'll go. Then each time you press it twice, it slows down a notch until it starts to slow down. So you can kind of adjust the speed of your patterns. Alright, there we go. And then one quick, one slow press, goes back through the patterns again. So you kind of get the idea of what it's got. Uh, it's a pretty cool light bar. It's first time, I honestly, it's the first time I've ever used one of these traffic advisors on this type car, or on uh, this type board. Um, like I said, I normally don't use them. All these patterns, I mean, they, they don't do anything for me. But anyway, it is pretty cool now that I've used it once. So anyway, uh, turn it back off again, two flashes, and you can let it go. It shuts everything back off. So that, I guess that's it. Uh, oh, dog dish wheels on it that you wanted. Uh, these are actually the dog dish rims too. They're not the a lot of the a lot of builders grab them and just paint them black and leave the chrome thinner. These are actually the dog dish police style rims. I also changed out the grill, put the honeycomb style grill in there as well for you that you wanted. I guess that's it. Like I said, I'll get this thing finished up and cut obviously that black part of that decal off right there that I left on there, and get everything touched up, get the decals coated and everything. And it's pretty much gonna be ready to go. So I appreciate your patience as always. And uh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we didn't, I didn't demo the siren. Nothing special. Uh, again, it's the same siren that all the builders, pretty much all builders use. Uh, same four sounds. Uh, turn that back on here. Let's turn the siren on. Why not? Thank you for your